the lady's priorities. Place these in order from most to least important. God, work and career, husband, and kids. Good question. So ladies, we're going to start here and then work our way the other way around. Put in order. God, work and career, husband, and kids. What's number one for you? God, okay. husband, kids, work and career. Okay. What about you? Um, the same thing, honestly. Don't God, copy, cat. No, I'm not. Okay. God, um, husband, honestly, work. No, kids and then work. Uh, okay, so kids and a career. All right, so same exact thing. What about you? I feel like Merch. God, uh -huh. then work, okay, and then my husband, and then kids. Okay. All I right. struggle with this one. I think. Right. Yeah. What about what about you? I struggle with this one because my career is equally as important as my relationship and my family, but I think it's because I'm also one that can differentiate between the two. So for me, it's kind of mixed actually okay so know. if you had to number it what is it what's number one for you if you had to choose like i would say god mm -hmm. career husband kids right. for me okay all right um yeah i would say god um husband kids and career can come very 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 okay. last yeah where it comes last for you yeah Stop the cap. Have as you <laughs> has your priorities changed? Because I mean, you you were in the legal world and you had a career and everything else like that. Would you say looking back that like family and kids is more important than career? Yeah, it, it is? definitely is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have a, an amazing career right now. Yeah. you know, and I it's not it's not it, it becomes unfulfilling once you get to a certain point. I think thirty. Okay. So all right, yeah, thirty. Uh, what about you? <sighs> what comes first? Um, God. Pull up the numbers again, Chris, or not the, the chat again, just so the ladies can reference it. God comes first. Mm -hmm. Next would definitely be my career, and then are you the, sure God or yeah, the other guy? One hundred percent God, God. <laughs> literally Jesus. Anyways, okay. you said literally <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anywho, amen. Um, the other two don't even get a rate for me. Wait, they don't that one more time. mean what anything. God, and then what was number two? My career, but okay. a husband and kids don't mean anything to me. Like but, if that's but, made for me, it'll come along. But sacrifice them. Okay. Oh my god. Doesn't doesn't rate. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh what about um who's up next? Me. What about you? Yeah. Um I would say God, husband, kids, and work. Okay. What about you? Well, I'm not necessarily religious, but I think it's important to have faith in something. So I'll say God, work, career, and then husband and kids. Okay. What about you? Um, God first for sure. That's first and foremost. Um, I think next would definitely be like husband and kids, and I'd put my career last because I've realized, you know, <laughs> if you don't have like the love from your family and you're not good for your family and stuff, like the work and everything else, it really just doesn't even matter. Like, okay, so all of you said God first. How many of you are actually religious? Yeah. How many of you are virgins? <laughs> Bitch. All right. <laughs> you guys mentioned God. Gotcha, bitch. How many of you actually follow those tenements of being in a religion? You? Yeah. You're like literally looking at me so crazy. You, I would honestly expect you to be the last. I'm not going to lie. Trolling. Yeah. No, I, I'm really, honestly, like, I would say in like, my older years, but yeah, I'm. But I've always gone to like Catholic schools. Well, but the schools. commandments are like no, no stealing. Respect your mom and dad, and like all that other stuff, right? Yeah, so, I like, love no my parents. That. Like my parents are the best. Like yeah, I'm not, very. Not, I want to kill. Real my quick, mom. since all of you're you said God, let's go real quick. Get an idea of everyone's uh, religion here. What, what are you? What do you identify as? For religion, you. Me, I would say Christian. I just don't practice like the Christian ways. You okay. know. Yeah. What about you? I'm not necessarily religious. Like I don't really follow anything spiritual yeah i guess quartz quartz well, god comes first okay all right so spirits what about you yeah i grew up as christian but i don't follow okay yeah what about you lucifer i'm old school catholic, catholic? Oh, okay. wow. we can tell so obvious yeah what about you uh christian okay christian okay what about you i'm a christian since okay. i was a little girl okay. i used Stop to the say cow. Okay. I used to sing in the church since <laughs> what does that I mean? know. In the church in really? Venezuela, I used to sing in the church. What does that mean? And in, in my school. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that I learned how to sing. 
in the school where I used to study. Does that make you religious? It does. Like, you can see the light in the person. Like, that shows. Like, you know. Wait, can you see the light in her? The one in all black? Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really give okay. a fuck. Right, what, about, what about you? What do you identify as religion wise? I'm a Christian preacher's kid. Okay. What about you? Um, I practice Hinduism. Oh. I ate like a bunch of shrooms and I just like I was I didn't believe in anything. And then I had so many shrooms <laughs> and then I found God and I changed my whole life. Yeah. I just find it funny that like girls will put in their bio like a Bible verse, Ephesians, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And then you kind of find out. Tattoos, like Bible they're verses. at the club twerking again, going crazy. And I just wonder, like, how many of them actually follow the tenements of that religion? And it's funny because none of you probably do. But it's fine because, I mean, you just, this is like, it's, it's like a buzzword. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm religious. Yeah. So, uh, okay. But, okay. So most of you said God, which we see no one here really on the panel is that religious. And then most of you said right after, some of you said career, and then a lot of you said husband. What are you actively doing to find that husband then? Let's start right here and then work our way. Or actually, no, you went first last time. Sorry. Start here, I think. No, the other one. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are you doing to find that husband um, since he's number two in your party list after Hinduism? <laughs> oh, my shrooms. God. Right, right. Um, well, I mean, I'm perfecting my recipes. Every time I perfect one, I'm like, all right, the kids are going to love this. So I already like, got them all okay. in my head space. Um, I mean, I'm looking for him so that. That's Did you say he's going to text you earlier? But yeah, yeah I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. Um, <laughs> other than that, I just like cleaned up my life a lot. Like I changed everything. Like I was on a different wavelength. But I'm not there anymore. I don't like know her. Is doing oh, yeah, she was better. Definitely. Following she belongs to the streets. God's I've, I've plan. Seen, I've seen you outside. Oh, yeah, a couple times. And I was standing still. I don't shake ass in that moment. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, fresh. All right. right. So, uh, okay. So. You, Question. So you said you're single before. What's why aren't you in that relationship with this guy? Uh, it's really complicated, okay? Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's it's boils down to one of two things. Either A, he doesn't want to commit to you because he, there's something going on, or B, you don't want to commit to him because there's something going on. Yeah, I want to commit to him and he wants to commit with me, but um he, would have committed he to just that. doesn't he doesn't know yet. The vibes. Oh so, he's working yeah. on himself and his business, so that's, that's what he tells you. He puts that's his no. career before wife, so, so can't blame him. So that's a no, yeah. He's making the money for us and our family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever, hey, right. whatever, whatever, whatever else will sleep at night. Yeah, that's, fine. Yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Uh, so you're perfecting your recipes. Fantastic. What about you? What are you doing to actively get that husband? Um, well, hopefully I found him. Okay. If not, um, I will just work on my money, um, trying to stack up and then when I do find that husband to be able to multiply. Okay. So the guy you're with now, you you want him to be the husband. Okay. What about you, Ms. Venezuela? What are you doing to find this husband since wait, actually you put He has to find me. <laughs> okay. He's gotta find you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not desperate to find the husband or, you know, boyfriend, <laughs> but he has to find me. But if it's number two in your priority list, wouldn't it be fair to say that you gotta work to find him too? Work how? Like maybe put yourself out there. You know, be an asset. What? To Claro. See, but <laughs> I'm actually not trying to attract a guy right now. Stop the cap. It's hard. You know, I have a lot, a lot going on. I feel Stop like the cap. if well, I you put tell... husband as number two on your party list after God. Mm, no. no, the she second said is career. my career. She yeah. said career. No. Uh, I feel like if you Orange. if you don't have a career or job, like how you guys will be happy. She did. Okay, then she said career. Never mind then. Okay. Okay. What about uh, what about you? To I'm sorry, I was focused on her answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's uh, me. Yeah. What are you doing to? Um, what do you? What do you guys I would say I'm just daily working on my current relationship for that to be my my marriage. Okay. Right. But then you said career before your husband. I said it's a close second. I mean, we're it's a long distance relationship, so my career oh. is equally as important for both of us. Where, where's but he at? He's in Orlando, mm -hmm. so it's it's not that far. Okay. You know, we Bye. see each other pretty consecutively. Not that far. No, it's only a two hour That's drive, three hour drive, three hours. <coughs> That's not that bad. It's kind of far. Okay. No. If you work every single day and you have the weekends off, it's not that bad. Okay. You go to work, you go to the gym, and then you, you make go it home. work. Then that's all that matters. Right, right. All so right. it's just a matter of 
whatever works for you. That's uh-huh. what I would say. Okay. All right. What about you? What are you doing to find that husband um, since he's number two on your list? I, you know, I really started to change a lot of my habits, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, I like drew back from a lot of things, um, like a lot of social settings and things like that. I, I mean, this, not all of this necessarily has to do with that, but I think it kind of coincides with that. Um, I mean, I don't, not outside, like I don't drink alcohol period Mm -hmm. anymore. Um, I got so much more (laughs) engulfed in like my health and fitness and just focusing on basically, I guess, things in life that really matter. And I think that in that change, it started to, um, attract a lot of different quality things in my life. All right. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> All right, Chris. And then for you, you you said career yeah, like career came second. No, okay. You didn't really care about the other stuff. What about you? Um, I mean, I found him, so I feel like right now is just more of a thing like maintaining. Yeah. And y'all been together yeah, for seven I mean, years, right? Seven yeah. years, right? Yeah. So I feel like it's just more of a thing like. Why do you think he hasn't committed yet? Oh, that's one. Oh, that's a good question. I can't answer. Well, that's why okay. don't want, I can answer it for you. It's, it's why it's all oh. married. I, I probably wouldn't do it. Go ahead, go ahead, what would be the answer? Uh, um, do you want him to tell you why? Sure. So, in this case of scenario, seven years, right? So, if a man is really committed to you and wants to be with you, right? Do you know what he wants ultimately? Marriage or no marriage? Kids, no kids? Um, both. Kids so, and marriage. if in seven years he didn't ask you, when is it coming? I think it was just more of a thing like when we got together. Well, we were friends first. So I feel like it was more of a thing like where we were like financially and mentally. Did you friends on him first? No, um, it wasn't even like that. It That's just honestly randomly happened. <laughs> okay, so y'all were friends yeah, yeah. first. Just... Yeah, it honestly, it caught us both off guard. Caught. Really? Yeah. But as far as like him not committing to me, obviously I can't answer that question. But I feel like where we were in life, it just wasn't the time. Because I feel like with kids and marriage, it comes with mental um stability and also like physical. How, how old is he? He is... 28. How old are you? Okay. I'm 27. You have, you have no kids, right? No. So, question. Did you and him, like, break up or have breaks in between the seven years of marriage or the third? Single? No. No breaks. Nothing. No breaks? Everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 wrong. No, uh, so, uh, wrong, ultimately, at that, at that point, if he hasn't committed to you in terms of, for example, putting a ring, a ring on it, it's probably because he's seen things where he's like, you know what? I'm not comfortable doing it yet. Which is not a bad thing, but it's more like in seven Does years, he watch our podcast? a long, a long time. Uh, yeah, he was. Oh, he so... uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I can add, like, wouldn't you say that as a man, you want to be in a certain place financially before you start for marriage? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that would be a responsible thing as a man. So it wouldn't just have to be with whether he wanted to or not. Maybe yeah. he's in a different place. No, and I mean, like, that's a good point. Sp- yeah. Like, it's not like he's never had the conversation. Like, we've spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? I can understand, like, you're not there yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to wait just because of the guy that he is. What if he never marries you? I mean, I have a time limit, but I don't have to tell him when it is. <laughs> I mean, two years. You so see, apply that pressure. So see, if, he's a fan of, if he's a supporter before, of, after of the show, show, before after, then yeah. Well, the, I'm going to be honest with you. I grew up, I never really wanted to get married until I started dating him. Like, I didn't grow up in that light where people in my life was getting married. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like something where I was like, oh, I always wanted to get married. When I met him, that's when I felt like maybe that could happen. Okay. So that's why I never really pushed it. Question. Are you happy right now? Yeah. So then why do you need to get married? You said, why do I need to get married? If you're happy right now. I mean, I never said I needed to get married, but I said... I'm open to it with him. Like I've never had, been open to it with other. So people. you had a, de- a deadline, mm-hmm. right? So, so that means you, it, matters. You, it matters to you. Oh, okay. But if you're if you're happy right now and he's doing everything right, then why? No, you're right. You're right. I understand. Um, it matters to me only because I feel like March. I want you to show me, like, okay, show you what? I feel like okay, we've been together for seven years. Like, what's next? Like, what are we doing at this point? So, yes, at that point, it does matter to me. But 
if it doesn't happen, then maybe it's not meant to be. What if you married you without any government assistance? For example, no legal contract. Just say, you know what? Let's go to a church. Let's get married. Would that be cool? Yeah. Okay. Would you uh, be okay if we made you sign a prenuptial agreement? Oh, shit. That's a no. Prenup! That's why he don't want to get married. There you go. A prenup. Her answer. Prenup! There, there, there's your answer right there. I just <laughs> never really thought about it. That's the thing. So I don't have an answer for it. Wait, I'm not so uh, question. Who, uh, that's a yes or no. So do you live with him? Like, do you stay with him? Yes, we live together. Mm. Who will pay the rent? The answer for the prenuptial agreement says, says it all. Yeah. Who will pay the rent? Because <laughs> cool. that's definitely come across your head. Come on, man. Keep it a thousand. If you're thinking about marriage, prenuptial agreement is something that's right there next. I don't think everybody thinks about prenups when they think about marriage. Women don't. I don't. <laughs> Women no, I never, Like I said, I never <laughs> I thought about is, getting though. married, so I wasn't yeah. really thinking that deep. I don't really care for the whole huge wedding. Like, even if we just got married in the courthouse, even if it was a small proposal, it's not going to be something where I feel like, even if it was a small ring, I'm not going to feel like any kind of way about yeah, it. Yeah, it's easy for you guys to feel comfortable about it because women don't take risk when they get married. Yeah. Only men, men do, do, typically. How? Don't you guys what feel do you mean, like... How? How are only men taking a risk? Because 80% of divorces are initiated by women and 90% of alimony is paid from men to women and child custody always goes to women 90% plus of the time. So men typically a lot of times end up getting destroyed by a divorce. Very rarely do women feel the wrath of divorce. I mean, I feel like we still it's have men. a lot to lose. Like what? Men lose way more. That's not even an uh, argument. Like divorce destroys men far more than it destroys women because most of the time women don't marry guys that make less money than them. So since men are in the breadwinner position most of the time, the women get all the benefits from the divorce. Hey, hi. Have you guys seen Johnny 